This is third part in cellular respiration. First, we talked about glycolysis, and then the intermediate step, I'm just going to call it second step. And then third stage, or third step here, we're going to talk about citric acid cycle location inside the mitochondria, okay? Very inside, like this space right there, which is called matrix. So, so far, at the end of pyruvic oxidation, we got acetyl-CoA, which is two carbon molecule. And then it's going to uh, and then we lost, remember, we lost carbon dioxide here. Um, you should check it. We should check steps one and two out if you have forgotten already. And then we're going to lose two more, two more carbons here as two carbon dioxide. Okay, so that completes the cycle. And then along the way, we make ATP and as well as NADH and FADH2. So let's, let's uh, look at that for a minute. Okay, so this is actual uh, citric acid cycle with all the uh, compounds and molecules here. You don't have to uh, memorize all of them, but I strongly suggest you should know acetyl-CoA, not the whole, uh, what is it, molecular structure, but the name. Acetyl-CoA, or some people pronounce it as acetyl-CoA, and then that meets up with acceloacetate. I'm just going to label it as OAA. So these two names... Just, uh, it would be better if you, if you just know. So acetate, which is four carbon. Carbon number is kind of important here too. We'll beat up with uh, acetyl-CoA, which is two carbon. And four plus two is seven, right? Yeah. Six carbon, you're going to form a citrate, thus the name citric acid cycle. Okay. Or sometimes they call it crab cycle. C-R-E-B-S. I think it's from... A guy named Hans Krabs, a Japanese dude. <laughs> no, I think it's German or something. Um, he discovered this. Or, yeah. So citric acid cycle or Krabs cycle. And then, it, you, don't worry about all these uh, isocitrate and alpha ketoglutarate or whatever that is. Just know that as it goes, one, two, carbon dioxide is lost. That makes sense. You started with two, acido, two carbon acetyl-CoA, you have to lose all carbons to complete the cycle. Okay. So it used to be six here, now it's five, and now it's four because you lost it. And then that four carbon still keeps all the way up to acetyl-acetate right there, OAA. The other thing that you should know, I mean, this is a must know, is that you got one, two, uh, three places or three NADH is produced, okay? So three places where NAD plus will get reduced into NADH. That's the whole point, remember? When we eat something, inside there's glucose, we're extracting electron from glucose and NAD, NAD plus is stealing those electron or picking up those electron uh, to become NADH. And then... Oh, uh, here's another energy carrier. FAD will uh, uh, turn into, will get reduced into FADH2. So those, you got to know. And then here you have another, another substrate level phosphorylation happening here. Okay. It temporarily phosphorylates GDP into, uh, GDP into GTP, which will later, uh, forget about this. You're going to make ATP here. Okay. So recap. Acetyl-CoA comes in meets up with oxaloacetate, OAA, and then it's going to become citrate. Okay, that's pretty much it about the uh, names. And then you're going to make one, two, three NADHs, and then one FADH2, and then one ATP, and then you're going to lose two carbon dioxide per one cycle. Okay, you got to multiply this by two if you start with one glucose. Remember, glucose broke it into two pyruvates, which will later make two acetylcoase. Okay, now we're ready to move on to the next step.